Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden. This is Eugene Willow. Eugene is another Salix purpurea. Uh, it's excellent for basket weaving. And it's very nice for a hedge. It, it's hard to see here because we're, we're wedged in between other willow rows here, but you could see the how we coppice it every year to the ground and uh, it grows back in this first year wood and the first year wood is what everybody looks for in in willow in harvesting willow because that's the stuff that has the special characteristic if we were let to this grow to be a big tree it would just most of the branches in the trunk would turn brown and you would lose a lot of this uh, this color. And like some other light colored Salix purpurea, you can see here it's got a, a multicolored stem. And that, that, that color will fade over time uh, after you cut it. And here I've got a bundle of dried Eugene willow. And while it's still early in the season, this this wood here on the new growth will darken over time. And then when you harvest it and let it dry, this has been drying for about six months now. And when you harvest it and let it dry, it will not only be darker when you harvest it, but as it dries out over time, it will lose some of its luster. And here you could, this is, this is a freshly cut Eugene Willow. Uh, and if you come back here, we can see the, this is what's been drying for about six months. And here we have a newly planted uh, section of Eugene willow. Uh, it's very easy to plant willow. You just push them into the ground. In our case here, we have a drip tape underneath this ground cloth or this weed barrier uh, in order to, to get the willow started. Like anyone, we don't we don't like plastic, but uh, it's really uh, too much work to try and weed between willow before it gets established. But eventually, we'll remove all of this plastic and just leave the irrigation and uh, and probably mow between the the rows here until the vegetation blocks the sun, and then it won't be an issue. The you know any weeds or anything won't be too much of an issue anymore. And that was newly planted, but here you can see this is probably the this has been in ground about two and a half years now. So the first summer, we coppiced it right down to here. We we cut our we harvested our branches, and this year I left a little bit longer uh, stump. So then I I coppiced it up here, and the hope is that. Uh, will be somewhere between coppicing and pollarding, which is pollarding is basically pruning it uh, about waist high or higher. And so as I get older, I, I don't have to lean down as much to uh, to gather the cuttings because we don't we're not mechanized here. We just uh, we do everything by hand. This is Eugene Willow. It's a Salix purpurea, excellent for basketry.